If you want to make your own soap at home, it's really, really easy to do. Um, you'll need a few things to be able to accomplish it, but it's actually a really simple process. The first thing that you will need are some uh, safety features. You need uh, some vinyl gloves to protect your hands when you're working with the lye. And then also, in case there's any splashes or if the lye boils over when you add it to the liquid, um, you want to include uh, some safety goggles to wear while you're working with the lye. And so you will need, if you're going to make some soap, you will need some um, lye. Uh, I use sodium hydroxide because I make hard bars of soap. Um, if you want to use, uh, if you want to have liquid soap, you'll need to use the potassium hydroxide in these recipes. Um, some other things that you'll want to have, uh, you'll need some oils um, for the soap that you'll be using. And uh, I would suggest if you're setting up your area, that you pick out the oils that you want first and only include those um, in the area that you're going to be working with. And you can use just about any type of oil that you want. Um, and I use uh, only vegetable oils in the soap that I have and it works out uh, fairly well and makes a very good bar of soap. Um, some other things that you'll need uh, you'll need some cups to do the measuring in. So let's say you're doing the oil, you want to put uh, the cup there so then you can measure the weight of the oil. Uh, you'll also need some containers to deal with the oil and the soap, um, or the oil and the lye water that you're working with. Uh, you'll want to put all the oils into one container and then the lye solution into another container and then you will mix those together at some point. So the other thing that you'll need, you'll notice that I had spoons in the containers there. Um, you'll need separate spoons for mixing the solutions that you have, mixing the oils and mixing the lye solution that you've got. Um, and uh, another thing that you'll need, I wouldn't forget that, you'll need a thermometer so that you can test the temperature of not only the lye solution but also the oil because you want to have uh, both of those at the approximately the same temperature before you mix them together. And then the final thing that you'll need is if you don't want to be mixing your soap for a long, long time, um, you'll want a stick blender so that you can speed up the process um, so that your soap can reach trace uh, in, a, in a short amount of time. Another thing that you'll need, you'll probably need a pen and paper or if you have your computer right next to you, you can enter these into the computer. But you'll be wanting to figure out uh, the amount of lye that you're going to be needing and to do that you need to weigh each one of the individual oils that you use and um, write down the amounts and then calculate how much lye that you'll be using. There are a lot of free calculators on the internet that you can use to calculate that. In fact, um, if you go to metaphysicalfarms.com, uh, there is a free lye calculator that will help you figure out the uh, amount of lye that you want as well as the amount of water that you want to include into that lye. And it also includes a scale if you're going to be uh, super fatting the soap that, you, uh, that you're making. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that you want to do is determine the types of oils that you're going to be using. Now I would suggest using a soap with a base that has palm oil in it, coconut oil, and then either soybean oil or olive oil depending on your preference. And then you can add other oils to uh, make different qualities in the soap that you've got. And so I've got some coconut oil right here and I'll go ahead and just measure out um, a certain amount of the coconut oil. Okay, so I've uh, poured out 8.2 ounces of coconut oil and all I'm going to do is just place that into the canister that I've selected um, for all of the oils that we're going to be having here. Um, now you don't have to get all the oil out of the glass there. Um, it'll all mix together anyway. Now if you've got a uh, feature on your scale here to tear or to even out the uh, weight, you want to do that now because you'll probably have some leftover oil. Uh, the next oil that I want to use is the palm oil. So I've got 7.3 uh, ounces of coconut oil or palm oil 
And I'm going to write that down, and then I'll just add it to our solution here. And then I like to add a little bit of olive oil. Now, um, you will notice that if you use olive oil, the soap will have a slight green tint to it, depending on the type of olive oil you, that you use. Um, and so, if you don't want that green tint, you can use soybean oil, uh, and it works just as well. And so I've got 8.7, uh, actually just changed 8.8 .8 ounces of olive oil. And we'll add it to our mixture. And I'm going to be adding a, a uh, few different nut oils to this particular soap. So I'm going to be adding some macadamia nut oil. Tear our weight. And this is castor oil right here. Now this makes for a good uh, bubble, but does not make the soap very, um, very good for your skin. Or it makes it actually a little bit, a little bit harsh for your skin. So I'm only going to add 1.6 ounces of castor oil, just so that we can have a good bubble in the soap. And I've got some apricot kernel oil. We'll add just an ounce of that included some mango butter and some of the oils that you deal with may be solids in nature and that's quite alright you just uh, measure those um, the same way that you do with any other type of oil uh, you just do it by weight and so I'll get a little bit of the mango butter here okay and that is all of the oil that we're going to be using for this particular recipe now, um, we will have to figure out now how much uh, oil, or actually how much water and how much lye uh, we will need for our recipe. Okay, so I have figured out how much lye and water we need for this particular recipe that we're using. I'm going to metaphysicalfarms.com and using their lye calculator. Uh, I figured out that we need either 11 to 16 ounces of a liquid and for this particular recipe I'm actually going to be using a tea, it's actually an herbal tea and um, so we'll be using, uh, actually I'll be using 12 ounces of the herbal tea and then we need 5.74 ounces of lye. Now that includes a 5% super fatting um, in the solution. The website gave me an uh, entire range of calculations, an entire range of the amount of lye that we wanted to put into this particular batch. And I like to use a 5% discount um, for the super fatting of the soap that we've got. Uh, this just ensures that we will have a mild bar of soap and it won't be harsh on the skin. Um, if we uh, are using 0 or 1% super fatting, um, then um, we might uh, have a bar that has some lye left in it. And so we don't want that. And so a 5% um, super fatting or 5% discount of the amount of lye will ensure that the bar that we're making uh, is, in fact, uh, a, a mild bar for, our, uh, for, for use. For use. And so, what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be measuring out um, the amount of lye and then the amount of water. And so actually the first thing you want to do is measure out uh, the amount of water that you're going to be using and place it into the container that you're, that you're going to be using there.